Yo, what's up, YouTube? Fucking up here. Welcome to Petite Riviera. So I'm here this morning. I got to go to town, do some errands, but I'm also scoping out a camping option, some renegade camping possibilities. Oh man, tide is up. So this is the Petite Riviere Bridge. You know, I've been meaning to uh, come paddleboarding up this river at high tide for about five years. <laughs> Haven't done it yet. Here, let's go scope out the bridge. This is a very rare one-lane bridge in uh, Nova Scotia. They're pretty common in other parts of the world, like New Zealand, but most bridges are two lanes here. So our destination is that land way out there. That's Risser's Provincial Park. And so my plan is I'm gonna park the vehicle here with my bike in the back and the pannier is full of camping gear and then bike from here to the park so I don't have my car giving me away over there because that would be a very big giveaway. I had a look on Google Maps and it's only a 3.8 kilometer bike ride, so that's pretty easy. <laughs> I could handle that. So we'll, uh, we're just gonna drive it now and then, uh, yeah, next time I'll, uh, I'll bike it. All right, we're here at the park. I'm just gonna rock a piss and then, uh, the ocean's over that way. Here, I'll let you guys have a gander. So this is a pretty popular campsite during the height of summer, but they closed it like mid-October more or less. They closed it earlier this year. It must have been around the 10th or something. And, uh, you know, my thinking is, it's a shame to let a place like this go to waste. Perfectly good for camping still. And uh, we're going to go explore in the woods here, but we'll just do a little jaunt around these rocks.
So this beach goes all the way down and then actually curves around. The heat with the air, where we just stopped is at the little river. The mouth of the river is at the base of that uh, cleared hill. So like I'm thinking like we land somewhere like this. I don't see anybody around. Let's go and uh, check it out. Now of course if folks come walking their dogs here, the dog might find me. But I doubt they're gonna come like super early. I guess late in the evening or super early in the morning. So as long as I'm out early and, or in late and out early, could be fine. All right, I gotta rock a piss. I couldn't do it earlier because there's people there. Whew. So there's a sort of a, there's a hint of a trail here, but I guess it might be an animal trail. Sort of odd looking. Maybe I will not go there as those trees are seeming to indicate. Well, these paths don't seem like they're used much by humans, if at all. I guess I also consider I'll have my bike with me, so I've got to be able to stash my bike as well. 
Doesn't need to be at camp necessarily, I guess. Well, I'm gonna keep on uh, creeping along here. I think last night was about four degrees which would be a little bit chilly, but doable. I think tonight's supposed to be more like eight or 10, which is better. But I don't know if I'm ready to go camping quite yet tonight. I could. hidden enough I could have a little fire which would be nice. Oh wow look at this. Here we go. Gardens right here, man. This is. Oh, there's the road. <laughs> Look at these little uh, pathways. Squirrel highways. This is hilarious. Check out this uh, intersection here. There's lichen growing on sand. This seems unusual. graveyard. Well, there's plenty of hammock possibilities. Less ground possibilities, but still uh, quite a few Oh man, this is gorgeous.
the beach sounds pretty close. Which means, I think the pathway is pretty much along the beach, so it's actually, it's close but not too close. In terms of a camping subterfuge. Wow, this area is so nice. I think I've discovered a magical pixie wonderland here. Definitely have to bring a little bit of uh, microdoses when I come to camp. Okay, there's the path. So. So anybody just walking by you can see the open area the first part but you can't see too far in and it's also uh, easy to get the bike in there you could just like you know doo -dee doo Acting all innocent, just a regular citizen. Whoop. And uh, once we get a bit deeper in here, we'd be free and clear. I think there's plenty of possibilities. But I might uh, see if Canadian Tire's got any like camouflage netting because that would be next level it's good i like the vibe in here man and i can find a good spot for the ground tent with a bit of poking around no question down here looks pretty nice even. Nice and dry, flat. Sweet. Well, uh, hope you enjoyed this little tour of Richter's Beach Provincial Park and uh, see you back here soon. Gotta rock another piss. Too much coffee.